FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, Thursday, the 10th of November, and we've got the 9 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Uh, 30 minutes ago, it wasn't looking well. 32 minutes ago, it wasn't looking too good. But all of a sudden, CPI uh, number come out, comes out, I think it was 7.7, which was a little bit better than expected. And whoosh, the Dow futures up 765 at 32,294 taking out the high of three days ago. Uh, this is going to be a really important uh, close on Friday for the weekly chart, but so far this is a very nice turnaround. The day is very, very young. We've barely begun. We're looking at the S&P futures. I'll go to the E-minis, and that's up 121 points at 38.77. Not yet up over the, the high that was made back around the, was the 1st of November, and I'll give you the number right now. This is in the continuous contract. 39.28 was the high, round number high on the 1st of November, and we're at 38.77, filling in this rectangle formation. The Qs have been very weak up until now, and all of a sudden there are 480 points at 11,305. These Split-second moves, I can show you the one-minute chart here. We'll do more of this. I'm going to be doing um, Tommy's show, the market kickoff, uh, in a moment. Uh, look at this. Single leg up to the end. This is a one-minute chart. That's incredible. Okay, now what we're looking at is the NQ is up very strongly. The RTY, which is the futures, the Russell futures, up 63 points at 1826. Got a lot of room to go before it can get to the 1886 200-period exponential moving average. The big move here is gold. Once again, this is now the third huge candle in a matter of six or seven sessions. It's up at 1737, up $23. And that's really important for the weekly chart. If you look at, at the dollar, I haven't got an updated dollar, but so far, it's turned around sharply. It's at 109.67. I've been contending that if it goes into the 108 or lower area, that's going to be quite significant for a number of areas. And I'm looking at commodities. Commodities have been pulling back. So we're looking at something that I'll talk about in a few minutes' time when I get back. You're looking at bonds. Where are the bonds right now? The bonds are, oh, bonds are up huge, up almost three, po three points in bonds. That's amazing. At 122 and a half. I'll be back to do the uh, uh, market kickoff Tommy O'Brien Jr.'s show, and I'll be doing my show at 10 o'clock. So stay tuned. Great programming here all day. And, of course, this is a very important session. I'll be back in a moment.